from now on, I'll start by talking about how my life changed after meeting Kipo. Pirms Kipo pa man stils bija savādāks? Aber um ehrlich zu sein, gab es dunkle Zeiten für mich. Which is very, very bad. So, with all these, sometimes I feel like giving up. This is my story. This is the story. My story. This is my story. Sages habe ich Beatles of Fernweh gesehen. War ich schockiert sozusagen, weil... Success story of K-pop stars who have spent tens of thousands of hours trying with patience and tenacity to reach the top impressed us a lot. C'est un monde euh, illimité où tout le monde peut faire ce qu'il veut. C'est vraiment très libre. So that through K-pop, we are creating a strong friendship that transcends ethnicities. K-pop is the gang. This is my story how K-pop how K-pop how K-pop Mēs ticam, K-pop vēdīs mūsu plašā pasauli un gribēsim turpināt dejot K-pop K-pop hat man herz wieder zum schlangen gebracht Blagdarīt K-pop mēs stanāvimsi silnī cielam un duchom Non do Manga. I was so happy. It's it was truly a dream come true. So And it was just so lovely hearing people scream and be supportive and, you know, look at me in the eyes and be like, oh, you're so good. I'm so sad. Like, Karon, sorry to Veronica. Oh, come on, come on, sir. Actually, so it was about 10,000 people. The fans were so loud and so supportive, and it was just an overall really cool experience for me. Again, being able to meet the artists that I look up to when I was just a fan was something absolutely incredible. I was with Moonbyeol and I was doing a collab video. At that time, Moonbyeol and I came back to the collab video. I was doing a collab video, but I was like, oh. Thank you. Oh, really? Wow, I don't want to go to So when I'm promoting, you know, everyone knows that idols promote at the music shows. 
저랑 뭐 NCT 선배님이랑 같이 겹쳤어요. 그리고 뭐 어, 세븐틴 선배님이랑도 겹쳤어요. 활동 겹쳤어요. 그래서 제가 뭐그 복도 갔다가 like when I'm walking in the hallways, if I see anybody from the group, I'm like, okay, don't freak out, don't freak out, stay calm, be cool, you gotta look cool. <웃음> 근데 like, 어, 대기실 들어갈 때보다 <웃음> like, I freak out a little bit because again, it's seeing these people that I've respected and looked up to for so long and I've covered their songs and that I've got to do the source week I do see Nico Wow And then Chegan I Chega what's right it then or mother Iran Katibo tick tock chicken and they are play the ping pong I have a little bit of a story. She's also somebody I looked up to for so long. And now it's become that I've become the role model for people, and people are looking up to me, which is something I never thought possible. K-pop을 자신들의 어떤 음악과 춤과 열정으로서 해외 시장에서 성공을 한다는 것 자체가 굉장히 큰 힘을 줬다. 그 K-pop I've learned many things and I changed a lot. But what I believe is the most important is that K-pop made me stronger. It taught me to never give up and gave me hope to continue to fight for my dreams. My dream is to work in the music industry when I grow older, but I sort of put that dream aside because I didn't believe in myself and I wasn't really confident. But when I met BTS, they kind of they taught me to be confident and believe in yourself and keep working hard for your dreams, and they really motivated me to keep doing music. K-pop 알고 알고 나서 내 인생이 위험 어떻게 변했는지 말하자면 제가 좋아하는 거 있으면 열심히 해야 하고 그리고 제 꿈을 이루고 싶으면 너무 이렇게 무시러니 일하는 깨달음 생겼어요. K-pop 알고 난 다음에 감사합니다. Thank you for the constant love and support, and I can definitely vouch for it and say K-pop can definitely change and save your life. I was born in Tulsa, a city in Oklahoma, and I was born in Tulsa. I was born in Tulsa, and I was born in Tulsa. I was born in Tulsa, and I was born in Tulsa. I was born in Tulsa, and I was born in Tulsa. Oh, when I was in the school, I was kind of shy. Ah, I was not someone that went to parties or anything. I wasn't one of the the cool kids. I was not a person. I was a person. I was a person. I was a person. I was a person. 
한살 때는 친구랑 같은 중국어 수업을 같이 다녔는데요. 그때는 우리 선생님이 어, 학생들이 너가 뭐 팝컬처에 대한 프로젝트 해달라고 했어요. 그래서 그 저희 친구가 저한테는 어, 우리 뭐 슈퍼주니어 헨리에 대한 프로젝트 하, 했으면 어떨까요? 물어봤는데 그때 제가 슈퍼주니어 헨리 뭐라고 했어? <웃음> <laughs> 제가 뭐 그거 무엇인지 몰랐으니까 I had no idea what it was and so because my friend suggested to do this project over Super Junior and specifically Henry uh, that day I went over to her house she showed me these music videos and everything and that's how I got to uh, discover k p o Backstreet Boys, Britney Spears, Janet Jackson, and m a d o n a artist. But when you look at K-pop, 다 한국 사람 아니면 아니면 아시아 사람이라서 but seeing fellow like Korean people in this position of being like stars and performing in front of audiences and you know performing uh, pursuing their dream of course of being a performer I found myself thinking okay this is something I could potentially get into Hyuna 선배님이 특히 너무 좋아했어요. 그래서 Hyuna 선배님이 솔로곡 나왔을 때는 그때는 아 이거 이런 안무를 좀 배, 배우고 싶다는 생각을 했어요. 그래서 I felt like that is something I could eventually grow into. That is something I could possibly pursue. 그런 realization이 있었으니까. 너무 행복했어요. 드디어 제가 저의 인생의 목표 찾았어요. 그런 느낌이었어요. 네. Alex is the one that has really wanted to be involved with her Korean heritage. I myself, being raised by you know a Western family all my life, never around any other Asian people. I just consider myself. A total Westerner, an American. I have no desire, you know, to meet or to do anything of anything of Korean heritage. Alex was so into K-pop and wanting to follow and and do this herself. Embrace her heritage. Right. I would not. I probably would not have. And I. 우리 어머님이 한국 사람인데. 어 다섯 살 때는 미국 가족에게 입양되셨는데요. 어디? 아 우리 어머니 원래 뭐 어떤 올페네즈 일산 쪽으로 온것 같아요. 네, 보육관이요. 우리 어머님이 원래 그 올페네즈 있었을 때는 아 동생 있었는데 근데 남동생인지 여동생인지 몰 모르겠는데요. 그때는 우리 어머니 뭐 she was holding a baby in her arms whenever she got adopted. So whenever she left the orphanage, she had to leave her sibling behind, which is very sad actually. Now that I think about it, I have an aunt or an uncle somewhere in Korea that I don't know. She wanted to find her birth parents because I know there's cases where sometimes if you get adopted, like. Sometimes people don't want to find their birth family. They don't want connection with it. But my mom wanted to find her birth parents and her mother. So <laughs> 이제 가수로 활동하고 있으니까 제가 뭐좀 유명해진다면 아마 뭐 어느 날에 누군가 뭐 TV 볼 때는 얘는 누구 닮았다고 생각하면 아마 아. 맞아 우리 뭐 옛날에 우리 딸뭐 <웃음> 오피니즈로 좀 보냈는데 혹시 우리 granddaughter인가요? 우리 niece인가요? It would be interesting if you know somebody eventually saw me on TV and was like, huh, she looks kind of familiar. I wonder if 
she has any connection to the daughter we put up for adoption those years ago. But success, 성공할 건지 안할 건지 모르겠지만, 네 그냥 여기 한국에 있었을 때는 우리 어머님의 부모님 좀 찾고 싶은 마음이 있어요. 그리고 But each time I think about the K-pop, it gives me courage to talk to people about life. In 2017, I was going through a really rough patch. I was going through a uh, academic turmoil. At that time, K-pop became my comfort zone where I could seek comfort in all the distress I was in. K-pop literally saved me from my depression and made me a better person. And about me the first people, I faced insecurities and doubts and I also didn't believe in myself. Although when K-pop and Bang Tan came into my life, it felt like a warm embrace saying, hey, we're here for you, you're going to be alright, just get up, look in the mirror and accept yourself, you're valuable. Simply said, I just found myself and my journey again after being lost in storms for some time. Thanks for bringing me up again. K-pop이 갖고 있는 긍정적인 메시지. 항상 어떠한 어려움이 있어도 함께 이겨 나가고 또 밝은 미래를 꿈꾸게 만드는 그런 메시지 같은 것들이 기존에 존재하고 있었던 대중음악에서는 느낄 수 없었던 새로운 감동, 새로운 희열 같은 것들을 느끼게 하고 많은 사람들에게 울림을 주고 또 용기를 주는 부분이 아닌가 싶고요. 고등학교 때는 저희 SNS에서 저희 커버댄스 올리기 시작했거든요. 미상 준비하고 화장도 하고 그런 커버 영상 찍고 올렸어요. Gain more followers. At one point, I remember I think I was at 10,000 followers at one point. <웃음> 이건 좀 재미있는 얘기인데 어느 날은 제가 복도를 걷다가 누군가 저한테 된 어! 나랑 셀피 찍을래? 근데 그 사람이 누군지 몰랐어요. 그 다른 학생 누군지 몰랐어요. 我们在台湾的时候，我们在台湾的时候，我们在台湾的时候，我们在台湾的时候，我们在台湾的时候，我们在台湾的时候，我们在台湾的时候，我们在台湾的时候，我们在台湾的时候，我们在台湾的时候，
<laughs> and, and she wound up doubling her following in like the next two, three months. And so we just began to realize that all these people believed in her and what kind of parents would we be if we weren't believing in her too. Seeing that people actually enjoyed watching my cover videos, that kind of made me think, you know, there's a chance of me actually being able to become a K-pop artist, becoming a star one day, if you will. It's the thought of being young When your heart's just like a drum Beating louder with nowhere to guard it Сейчас родителям интересно следить за деятельностью нашей группы, так как в последнее время мы стали пробовать много нового. Моя семья считала, что кавердэнс занимает много времени и отвлекает меня от учебы и работы. Но я смогла доказать им, что могу совмещать эти два направления в моей жизни. Они были удивлены и очень рады нашему успеху. Кип-поп это не просто корейская поп-музыка, а настоящее искусство, которое включает в себя множество направлений. K-pop is pretty uh, popular in San Francisco. Uh, there's actually a good amount of dance teams that focus on K-pop. Also, I've noticed that there have been a lot of new K-pop classes that have been popping up in the city. And I feel like sometimes when you walk down the street, you'll see a, a random group um, filming a cover just in San Francisco somewhere, so. The song choreography was pretty recent. Um, it was for uh, BTS Butter. Having that video come out in two days uh, was really challenging, but also fulfilling. We all had to like lean on each other um, and really trust that. I think K-pop is kind of is a common goal to work towards. Um, so even if we do have differences of opinions, or if, you know, we don't always agree on the same things. It makes sure that we like reach our goal together. <laughs> I want to be connected with friends from all over the world through K-pop. Umang만 듣고 뮤직비디오만 보는 그런 식의 문화가 아니라 K-pop을 소재로 해서 자기가 스스로 하나의 제 2차 창작물들을 만들어내는. 그런 K-pop을 하나의 유희의 도구로 삼는 경우가 굉장히 많은데 해외 팬들 같은 경우는 그것을 통해서 다른 글로벌 K-pop 팬들과 만나서 얘기 소통을 하는 그런 행위 자체에서도 또 많은 힘과 에너지를 얻고 있다는 그런 인상을 받았습니다. 불과 몇십 년 전까지만 하더라도 한국의 이미지는 못 사는 나라, 어디에 있는지도 모르는 나라, 미개한 나라로 알고 있는 서구 사람들도 많았습니다. 근데 지금은 BTS와 K-POP의 등장으로 인해서 한국이 전 세계에서 가장 힙한 나라, 가장 트렌드에 민감한 나라, 그리고 지금의 젊은이들의 취향을 가장 빨리 파악하고 그들과 적극적으로 소통하는 한마디로 가장 현대적이고 발전된 나라의 이미지로 바뀌었거든요. 저는 그것이야말로 K-POP이 이룩해낸 가장 큰 성과라고 생각합니다. We love K-POP and everything is done for. It made us stronger. It made us laugh and dance. Yeah, and about all, it made us what we are today. I think we all agree on this one. Uh, we do not just only like it of music, we find like the Korean culture very interesting. And because of that, we meet every Sunday and practice very hard. And now we have a really close and good friend group. passion, I guess, to be like, okay, now, now is the time for me to actually reach the rest of the world now. On the day, I got a cover, a cover contest. Category is Hegae, dance, rap, vocal. Out of the 300 people that auditioned, there was 100 in each category, and... In 2016, I got 1st, and then in 2017, I got 1st, 뿐만 아니라 제가 약간 전체적으로 1등으로 했어요. 제가 제일 많은 투표 
받았어요 그때는 Rising Legends was this online competition where K-pop hopefuls were going to audition in various uh, areas like singing or dancing or um, performance, whatever it might be. Uh, an agency like JYP Entertainment was involved, Cube Entertainment was involved. This was a really big competition and a really big deal. I was so lucky to be asked to be a judge for the competition and totally remember that Alex Christine just blew us away uh, in her dance category. She not only got the judges on her side, but she got viewers who were watching her on YouTube and were voting for her online. I think that really gets to show just, just how much potential she had. So, I was in the Oh, Alexa, Oh my god, then I started crying. <laughs> it was so surreal for me because I was able to go to Korea with my mom, who had not been back to Korea since she was adopted when she was five. So, oh, I'm so proud of you. This is such a good opportunity. Like, good job. Like, I can't wait to go to Korea with you. It was definitely a very interesting experience for my mother and I because she had never been, you know, around people who look like her. Mm. It's I think, pork. Oh, look at the walkway. It's so cute. Oh, I love no, that. Look at the lights. Look at the lights. Oh, my goodness. Look how beautiful. Welcome back home, Mom. <laughs> yes, it's a definite welcome back home after 50, 53 years. Yeah. 53 years. Welcome back to Korea. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> I'm crying, I'm sorry. It's okay. This is special. Thank you, You're I welcome. love you. It's okay, it's okay. Oh. Uh, when I came to Korea, I was also able to film a music video and record a song. You, you good? Yeah. You should have sent a warning, a signal from above. If I knew you were coming, I would have prepared for your love. Now that I'm standing here, I'm thinking, strike it up. I'm starting to feel that fire we share. Strike it up. 노래 녹음도 했고 안무를 더 배우고 뮤비 촬영도 했고 그런 거다 했다고 다시 미국으로 갔는데. 제가 전화 받았는데요. Hey, so since Zany Bros filmed your music video, they actually are kind of interesting in starting an entertainment company, and we're wondering if you wanted to be their first trainee. 어떻게 생각하시냐고? So I was like, of course, I I would love to do this. It sounds like a great opportunity for me. So of course I agreed. I agreed. I was more than thrilled. I was so happy to get this opportunity. 하루도가 열 여섯 시간 열 여덟 시간쯤 매일매일 매일 연습했어요. 그때는 밥 먹고 그때 바로 다시 연습도 시작했고. Do I always tell you it's a skeleton I took it really personally against myself. 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 I took it really personally 
계속 있었는데 근데 그런 nervousness and doubt으로 약간 fuel처럼 됐어요. It gave me power to keep pushing to do better because I knew I could. Bueno, cuando yo conocí a mi grupo favorito, la verdad es que me enseñaron a caracterizarme como una persona muy disciplinada. Tal cual si ustedes me sacaron de ellos, que es guardia, ser un guerrero en la vida. Eh, aprender a no rendirse jamás, intentar una y otra vez, por más de que no tengas el apoyo de la gente, que no te importe, tienes que bailar porque si a ti te gusta, entonces no tienes por qué gustarles a otros más. Si a ti te encanta bailar, lo tienes que hacer. Um, because before, when I danced, I noticed like um, with K-pop is that they're really clean um, and they train like really hard, really often to like and many hours to get those steps like really clean and to form the choreographies. And for me, um, it really inspired me to train myself to um, do the same. On that day, Tega. 어, 회수로 갔는데 근데 갑자기 우리 우리 어, 대표님이 저를 좀 불러셨어요. 잘했어? 너 여기 왜안 추워? 안 추워. 안 추워? 안 추워. 너 여기 먼저 한국 먼저 얼마 됐어? 자 1년 반 지났어. 그렇지? 1년 하고 더 지났어. 오버 1년. 그렇지? 1년 동안 뭐 했어? 진우 쌤이랑 같이. 제가 잘못했는 거 있나 있냐고 좀 생각했는데 like did I mess up? Did I do something? 약간 뭐, what is what is your worth to the company? Can you prove that you're worth keeping? Like, you know, do you think you have the potential to achieve that? 그때는 진짜 무서웠어요. 오늘 그거 얘기하려고 부른 거야. 그래서 이 안에 이, 이 봉투 안에는 네가 알렉스 크리스틴으로 돌아가는 알렉사로 돌아가는 데가 적혀 있어. 그때는 우리 대표님이 뭐 봉투, envelope 좀 주었는데 계획. 취소되는 거 있어요. 그래서 너가 사인하고 그런 대비 기획도 다 취소되고 또 알렉사라는 이름도 취소하고 너 다시 미국으로 돌사로 가서 그냥 일반 사람 다시 될 거라고요. Congratulations! So when is this happening? <laughs> the actual debut is set for like Halloween time. Oh my God! Wonderful! Now I'm crying. Oh my God! Oh my God! That's wonderful. So is there gonna be like a big old party or something? <laughs> is there gonna be a party? A pa is there gonna be a party? <laughs> I don't really know. Alex on the damn floor. Oh my God! Um. I was so happy. It's it was truly a dream come true. My life's been magic, seems fantastic. I used to 
so I've kind of always pursued creative things. The reason we love K-pop is because K-pop has uniqueness in their music videos and songs and they are very well oriented, we have to say this. We weren't able to dance before knowing K-pop and it's true. We started dancing after knowing K-pop and that's the biggest change K-pop has ever made to our life. Déjà de la créativité dans le sens où les concepts coréens sont très poussés par rapport à ce que ce qu'à nous on voit aujourd'hui produit sur les artistes français ou américains. Ils osent porter de tout, c'est-à-dire qu'un garçon peut avoir une jupe et ça va apporter beaucoup de créativité parce que j'aime beaucoup leur style. Prendre connaissance de, de tout l'aspect visuel de la K-pop qui est extrêmement riche. Hein. On parle des tenues, on parle de, des, des caméras. Genre ça c'est quelque chose qui est incroyable dans la K-pop que ce soit les, euh, les music shows ou même les MV, les dance performances, etc. Tout le travail audiovisuel, c'est un travail énorme. Et euh, bah, ensuite, toute la... I was so intrigued by the storyline that they were creating from the first music video of Bob. We were kind of wondering, is she a girl? Is she a robot? Is she a cyborg? Is she an AI? You know, there were, there were all these kind of questions we had. And since then, they've continued that story and it's been in three different parts where we've been able to watch the Alexa story kind of unfold. The recent music video for Extra actually went back in time for Alexa. They had a bit of a throwback sound with the actual song. So the fact that we were able to kind of throw it back with, with Alexa and, and see her past and see how she got to where she was, that was a really smart move. And I think, uh, I just love that Alexa does that and that there's so much in the videos, in the performance for us to take in and really sink our teeth into. 그 알렉사는 기존의 K-pop 가수들 중에서는 조금 더 디바 그리고 퍼포먼스적인 면에서는 걸 크러쉬의 그런 특성을 갖고 있는 그두 가지가 좀 저는 결합된 특성을 갖고 있다고 생각이 들어요. 어쨌든 그 혼혈로서 특히 오클라호마 털사 출신이잖아요. 그런 것들이 가진 어떤 지역적인 특성들이 해외 K-pop 팬들로 하여금 조금 더 우리와 가까운 가수, 우리와 친숙한 가수 나아가서는 나도 한 명의 K-pop 네, 플레이어로서 참여를 하고 싶은 그런 넥스트 케이팝 스타를 꿈꾸는 사람들로 하여금 새로운 롤 모델이 될 수도 있는 거죠. 한 가지 분명히 말할 수 있는 거는 점점 더 다양한 인종, 다양한 국적의 사람들이 케이팝이라는 산업 안에 들어와서 케이팝 그룹, 아이돌 그룹의 중요한 역할을 할 것이라는 점은 분명히 보여요. 전 남미권, 심지어는 뭐 중동이나 아프리카에도 결국에는 케이팝에서 영향을 받은 현지 아이돌 그룹들이 등장을 할 것이라고 생각을 합니다. 근데 이게 이제 K-팝이 더욱 더 세계적인 장르가 되고 더 많은 사람들에게 널리 사랑을 받게 된다면 이렇게 다양한 국적의 사람들이 K-팝의 일원이 되는 것은 이제 굉장히 자연스러운 일이 될 거고 언젠가부터는 와 이제 K-팝에도 이렇게 많은 외국 사람이 있구나라는 것 자체가 그다지 신기한 일이 아니게 될 수도 있다고 저는 생각해요. 그것이 사실 그리고 얼마 안 남았다고 보고 있습니다. 아, 저희 팬분들이 AI trooper라고요. 아, uh, since they're called AI troopers because my overall concept is AI. Having this kind of fan base full of such loving and kind people, it's truly amazing to think that. 저희 팬분들을 그냥 직접 볼수 있어서 기대합니다. was really, really significant because it was the first offline K-pop event in America since the pandemic had started. 
this was pretty cool because I think it hopefully made people feel, you know, that, that K-pop hadn't forgotten about American fans. Now, fans, please remain standing for the U.S. national anthem, performed tonight by a breakout K pop star who's appeared internationally on the Billboard charts. It has accumulated 50 million views on her music videos since her debut in 2019. Please welcome Alexa. is a huge honor for an artist so young in her career to be able to take such a national big stage like that at a Major League Baseball game. I thought it was so cool that she was not only able to represent uh, her American culture and come home to America and be able to sing that national anthem, but also do that while representing Korea too. She clearly was there on behalf of K-pop, representing K-pop. I think they introduced her as a K-pop superstar. It really was a huge honor and I was so excited to see that news. I, I was like, maybe I should go to LA to come cheer her on because it really was just such a cool, a cool moment and I know so many people were, were so proud of her. of Alex. It's just a momentous occasion for her. It's fantastic. It was wonderful. It was so good. It was just so exciting to watch her do it. I loved it. It was wonderful. It's now time for the ceremonial first bit. I haven't seen my family in two years, so being able to have seen them was it was very nice. through some of the comments after she makes posts and you know a lot of these followers say oh, you know we look up to you because you know you are just you you don't pretend to be anything and we strive to to be able to be ourselves and not be held down by any sort of you know criticism and so when you read things like that you realize whether Alexa meant to or not she is helping others. 젊은 세대들에게는 뭐 코로나를 비롯해서 너무나 어려운 일들이 많잖아요. 그래서 다들 어떤 시대에 빠져 있고 어떤 삶의 새로운 목적을 찾지 못하고 방황하는 그런 젊은 세대들이 많은데 그들에게 있어서 K-pop 스타의 성공 그 자체가 좋은 교훈이 되기도 합니다. 저렇게 열심히 노력하고 끊임없이 팬들과 소통을 하고 그런 모범적인 어떤 삶과 커리어를 통해서 슈퍼스타에 오르는 그런 모습 자체가 내가 열심히 살아가야 될 어떤 이유를 그들에게 부여를 해주는 거죠. 
because I started out as someone that was a fan of other people, I know what that, what it's like to be a fan of someone. You constantly want to support them, love them, and you know, just give them everything you have. So seeing that that's where I started, and now I've become that person for somebody, it's, it's really wild to me, but I'm very grateful to be in the position I'm in. Someone like me, who's still starting out, but I'm from Oklahoma, which is like kind of the middle of nowhere. Weekends, oh, I hope they don't get disappointed because it's me. No. I'll wait for you here. Good luck. They'll open the door for me, right? Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you're from Oklahoma, if you're from Malaysia, if you're from, I don't know, Ukraine or something, you know. Yeah, with all those things in mind, it just gives you the passion to go forward. Don't stop pushing for your dreams, you know, they're not impossible. can definitely vouch for it and say K-pop could definitely change and save your life. <laughs>